This morning, Japan declaring a COVID-19 state of emergency in Tokyo. The move set to collide with the start of the Olympic Games just 15 days away. Japan's Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga announcing the new restrictions to combat a recent spike in COVID cases. Japanese media reporting the government is moving to ban all fans from late night Olympic competitions and showcase events, including the opening ceremony. Plus, the Olympic torch relay already being pulled off public streets in Tokyo. COVID-19 pandemic is not over yet. We will do our best to ensure the safe and secure Tokyo 2020 games. Though the country has suffered fewer deaths per capita than other developed nations, Japan is taking no chances. Have you met anyone in Japan who wants the Olympics to happen? I haven't met any Japanese who are keen to have the Olympics. They are worried that there will be a spike and a surge in transmissions, and this is going to be bad news for Japan. Recent polls have shown more than half the Japanese want the Olympics to be canceled or postponed. One reason for concern, Japan's sluggish vaccine rollout. Just 15% of eligible Japanese are fully vaccinated. And now, with the Delta variant spreading all over the world, Japan enforcing strict rules we've seen firsthand. All foreigners have to do a 14-day quarantine when they arrive in Tokyo, also submit daily saliva tests, and we're all tracked on this health app here in Japan. These two very nice government workers are here to make sure we don't break our quarantine and also to collect our saliva tests. Arigato. They also have this sign-up sheet because we're only allowed to be outside for 15 minutes, so they want to make sure we don't break that time. The growing number of rules have also burdened the athletes themselves who are still training. They're sacrificing a lot. Uh, they can't take their friends or family to Tokyo. Mm. So, Tom, what does the state of emergency exactly limit there in Tokyo? Right. The, the main issue here is crowd control. So they're asking all restaurants, bars and karaoke parlors not to serve alcohol. What they're really worried about is the crowd getting out of control. They want to make sure with all the Olympic festivities and the thousands of travelers coming in, all these foreigners, they want to make sure things don't get out of control. And that's the main reason for the state of emergency. I guess they're trying you know? to keep it tight. All right, Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.